similar to primary superheater coils. Horizontal reheater also consists of coils of tubes supported by the stinger tubes. The pitch between the tubes are maintained by separators welded to the stinger tubes. One stinger tube supports two coils of horizontal reheater. Horizontal reheater coils are placed below the primary superheater coils. Lift the coils using the stinger tubes. One end of horizontal reheater coils project outside through the opening in the cage front wall. Therefore we have lift and offset and after reaching the elevation the coils are slided horizontally, so that it goes through the opening in cage front wall. Weld the coils with the ends of reheater crossover tubes and also weld the stinger tubes. After complete erection of all the coils of horizontal reheater we can close the cage side completely. Lift the cage rear wall bottom panel and erect the same to position. We are erecting the cage rear bottom panel after reheater coils erection is, because the length of the coil tubes are greater than the distance between the cage front and rear panel. So coil can it be repeated if the cage rear panel was erected previously. Weld the cage rear bottom panel with the tubes of cage rear top panel. Now we can see the complete boiler with the structure and right side wall panels. Only the economizer coils erection is pending in the cage pass. Before erection of the coils, the front and rear intermediate headers of economizers are to be erected. The stubs of economizer to be welded with the stinger tubes. Lift the economizer headers along with the bottom lug plates. Prior to economizer coils erection we will see how these coils are made. There are upper and lower coils in economizer coils. The coils consists of series of tubes and pitch between tubes are maintained by these pins which are inserted throughout these plates. Similarly we will have 5-6 coil tubes. Top and bottom rail plates are welded to the top and bottom section of the already placed plate. The lug plates are welded to top and bottom portion of the rail plates. These lug plates can be used for lifting. Now we have one complete assembly set of economizer upper coil tubes. Now the cage rear panel is hidden to show the animation clearly. Similar to the primary superheater coils, the same lifting arrangement is followed. Unfloating pulley is suspended on wire rope tied between two supports welded outside the side wall panel. Lift the economizer upper coil set with the lug plates and erect to its position.
insert the bolt through the lug plate and secure it with nut. Now we can weld the economizer coil tubes with the stubs of headers. Next step is the erection of economizer lower coils. Before erection of the coils lift the lug plates and erect with the bottom lug alchment of the economizer upper coils. As said previously same erection procedure of upper coil is followed for lower coils erection also. After erection of Econimser we can erect the inlet headers of primary superheater and reheater inlet header. Now we can close the furnace completely. Lift the furnace front and rear bottom wall panel and erect and weld with corresponding panel tubes. After erection of panel lift the front and rear bottom headers and weld with the panels. Next step is erection of roof tubes in furnace. Roof tubes are provided, as individual tubes and the same need to be erected and welded between roof inlet header and intermediate headers. Now we will see the sectional view of boiler. In the furnace pass there are coils of superheaters, pendant reheaters. In the cage pass there are coils of primary superheaters. Reheater horizontal coils. Economizer upper and lower coils. Now we will see the complete view of boiler along with the structures.